Bonjour tout le monde and welcome to Meetings with Fox. Today I thought we would get out of the office and take a little field trip. Um, Dory has been promoting their new Feel the Fit campaign a lot and have just launched I think five different styles of skinny jeans and because the weather is finally cooling off and I can actually wear pants and not need to just live in dresses like I have all summer, I figured now's a good time to go pants shopping. So I thought I would take you with me and I'm going to try all the different styles of skinny jeans and see which one is my fit. Alright, let's go shopping. So these are all the styles available at my local Torrid. Let's grab my size and see what fits. Before I dive into trying on the pants, I thought it might be helpful to explain my shape, my body's quirks, and what I'm looking for in pants. I typically describe myself as an inverted triangle. I have exceptionally broad shoulders, the slightest of nipped in waist, that comes and goes as my weight fluctuates. I don't have much of a tush to speak of, so I appreciate pants that complement what I have. I have very thick muscular calves that can make skinny jeans either amazing or an absolute nightmare to get on and off. I'm looking for jeans that complement my shape. I don't mind those that give a fake hourglass silhouette, but mostly I just don't want to be squished. First up, we have the Sky High Skinny Jeans in a light blue jean color. According to the signage, the Sky High Skinny is super high rise with a comfortable stretchy waistband and a super skinny leg opening. They're all distressed with holes and I'm trying a size 18. So here are the Sky High Blue Jeans on, paired with a pumpkin spice foxy cami. These are actually pretty comfortable. So here's a side view. You can see that it definitely does kind of tuck my tummy in and actually works some wonders on my tush. I'm actually really thrilled with that back image and it really nicely shapes my calves. Um, if you pull, I'm going to pull this up and show you where the pants actually kind of lay on me. Show you like this is about where my belly button is and so you can see they're a little bit a few inches above a belly button. They Yeah, they do a great job of like, I don't know, I don't want to say flattening my stomach, but just not overemphasizing my stomach and giving me a nice clean silhouette that doesn't feel lumpy. There's some good stretch in the leg. It's kind of not the best, but it'll do. And let's give it the squat test. Ready? <laughs> and here's where I'm about to fall over. <laughs> but uh, the squat's all right. Um, a little bit of movement at least. Not too, too stiff. Might actually choose to buy these in a size up. Overall, I would give the Sky High an A- and definitely an add to cart for me. Next up, we are trying the Sky High, but in the black stretch material. Same properties as the previous pants, but made out of one of my favorite Torrid fabrics. So this pair seems to fit a little bit smaller than the blue jean fabric, which is slightly surprised, so it digs in a little bit. It does a little bit more of the front shaping. Um, does not do as much for my tush, but I really do like the style. I like the black pants with the distressed look. Um, shapes the calves really nicely, no bagginess. However, the front seems to be pulling a little bit, which just all around tells me that I should just size up. And I'm one of those people where sizing up doesn't bother me. I don't really care what the number is on the tag. I just want the pants to fit the way I want them. I do find it frustrating that for a campaign that's all about the fit that I can't get the same supposed cut of pant in the same size that I have to change size for fabric. That is not quite feeling the fit for me. But the stretch on these is fantastic. They're really flexible. You get a lot of movement in them. So as shown in a size 18R, these are a bit of a B minus. In a 20R, they'd be an absolute A plus. Next is the Curvy Skinny in an 18R. The material on these is much thinner and there's no stretch band at the top. According to Torrid, the curvy skinny are mid-rise with room in the hips and butt, no back gap, and a skinny leg opening. These actually had the widest leg opening for me of all of the pants, and they were also just really baggy and kind of extra long. Not sure why the inseam changed on the regular between pairs of pants, but they seem to. Not bad shaping, doesn't really help the tush, same kind of tummy shaping though this material is a lot thinner and definitely doesn't have the luxe feeling of all the other pairs of jeans. I would almost call these like the most inexpensive pair feeling wise that I have come across from Torrid. I also really dislike when pants show every contour of your body and leave nothing to the imagination. That's a big nope for me. 
Okay, one last nitpick. I really do not like the wash on these pants. I think it kind of looks like Superman who wears his underwear on the outside of his tights. It just really highlights my stomach lines in just the most distracting of ways. These are a big fail. I'm sorry. Just no. To palette cleanse from that last pair, we're going in with my favorite pants from Torrid, the Lux Skinny in this black wash. I own about eight pairs. I love, love, love these pants. You can see it on my face. I just love them. They are the comfiest pants I have ever owned for my body type. They are the most true to size. I can do absolutely anything in them. I feel like I can dress them up. I can dress them down. They're great for work. You throw on like a nice cute jacket. It's perfect for a night out afterwards. There's just nothing wrong with these pants. Maybe they don't do the most for my tush, but at this point, I don't really care. They make my legs look nice and strong, and they kind of do a little bit of flattening on the tummy, but that doesn't really matter. They're just my favorite pants in the entire universe. Torrid never, never discontinue these pants. I'm, I'm begging you, please. Not surprisingly, these have the best squat test, and it's so comfy. <laughs> After trying on all those other pants, I was relieved to be able to stretch in those ones. Yeah, there's just ultimate flexibility. Like, I could do yoga in these things if I had to. These are just the best workhorse pants of my life. Yeah, happy dance, happy dance to be in these pants. <laughs> I'm sure you can guess that these are the valedictorian pants and they absolutely went home with me. So the next pair are the bombshell skinny jeans. Unfortunately, I had to grab these in an 18 tall because there were no 18 regulars, no 20 regulars. These ones are obviously a bit of a hit. So let's see how they are on me. From the signage, the bombshell skinny are supposed to be high rise, lifts and shapes, because you saw that stretch band on there. So comfortable. Wow, signage, really. <laughs> Super skinny leg opening. But these actually give me the best fit around the waist of all the pants. It's nice and smooth. There's no cutting in. It's really comfortable. So yeah, I think it actually might earn those so comfortable, at least in the waistband. So I feel it definitely does some smoothing around the tush, but I actually feel it does less smoothing around the stomach than other pairs. Um, it gives me a cute little butt, but nothing to write home about. The pants are very fitted in the leg, so the stretch chest kind of stressed me out because it felt like those things were all going to burst and rip way beyond repair. But, I mean, pretty comfortable, just not not a lot of movement in the stretch and just I don't know these are good standing pants so yeah all in all I'd give these a B they're just not my must-have and last but certainly not least we have the Torrid Jane I definitely had to size up for these I didn't even want to try an 18 because these babies are skin skin tight and the 20 is the most comfortable for me. I own several pairs already. I really like getting them in a lot of their like fun colors versus the blue jean though I actually really enjoyed this blue jean pair. The fit is really nice. It makes me look strong. It holds in the right spots without making me feel squish. My tush is much the same as it is in the Lux skinny I hate that the front pocket is fake, though I get that these would look really weird without it. I just would rather kind of have a functional tiny pocket. Um, but I do own, like I said, several of these jeggings, and so I already know that this is a very, very comfortable pant. The flexibility in these is always surprising because you'd think that being such a skin-tight pant, you wouldn't have a lot of movement, but you really do. I wear these to work, and I've never been hindered by them. They're just a really solid little jegging. <laughs> I never thought I'd be a jegging fan. These actually feel um, a little thicker than the curvy skinny. The curvy skinny just felt like you sneeze and your pants would blow off. So I really do like these jeggings, even though, like I said, you have to size up because these babies are tight. But, you know, they're a solid pair of pants. Definitely a B plus compared to the Sky High or the Skinny Lux, but a real add to cart for me. Thank you all for joining me for this In The Torrid dressing room. I hope this kind of fit video is really helpful for you. If you have any other fit questions, please don't hesitate to ask them down below. Time to go buy this tank up. I have drenched with sweat. I will see you guys next time. Bye!